Hey guys, it's Pierre, the Fish Beast. Welcome back. Um, today I wanted to show you how I paint my aquariums. I plan to paint the back of this aquarium. Uh, there are many reasons to do this. It seems to bring out the colors of the fish better when at least one side is blacked out, in this case the back. So that being said, I want to show you what I use. Uh, the first thing you'll need is some Plasti Dip. Uh, there are many different types of uh, spray-on paint that you can use. You can use Krylon Fusion, you can use Rust-Oleum, Painter's Touch. I like to use Plasti Dip because it's very easy to remove. It also bonds to glass very well. The next thing you'll need is a couple of large trash bags. And you'll use that along with some painter's tape to mask off the sides of the tank that you don't want to get any of your paint, or in this case, Plasti Dip on. Finally, you're gonna need some scissors. And you need scissors because what I like to do is to split the bags in half lengthwise so that I can cover a little more of the tank with one bag. Finally, and this is optional, you can get one of these Rust-Oleum Easy Spray uh, Grips. And what this does is it pops onto the top of your paint or Rust-Oleum can and then it's easier to deliver the product without having to press down on it with your finger, which can be uncomfortable or even painful. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of these pack bags, open it up a little bit, and then we're gonna cut on the sides with the crease, like so. Just gonna cut it all the way down to the end. Do the same thing on the other side. So you have a nice, large surface area with which to cover the sides of the tank that you don't wanna get paint on. So, I'm gonna start masking this, and when you check back in with me, it'll be all taped up and ready to paint. So, I'm done. Uh, masking the sides and the top of the aquarium. I'm not going to worry about the front because I'll be spraying it from this direction. So it'd be very difficult to get any of the Rust-Oleum particles across and around. Now what I do worry about are these dollies. Uh, I don't really want to get them uh, painted or contaminated. So what I'm going to do is add a little apron down on the bottom. And just to make sure that the only thing that ever gets uh, plastic up on it is this. Uh, I also, I forgot to mention, I used a little, I used some alcohol wipes that I had uh, laying around to clean the glass. And what that does is it helps the material to adhere better to the glass. All right, so let's take this up and uh, let's get it painted. All right, so everything's masked off. I'm ready to paint it. So let's take it outside so that I don't suffocate or become too intoxicated from the vapors. One thing I also like to do when I'm painting an aquarium is to have some kind of a fan blowing out towards the other direction. All right, I think I'm gonna have to tape down the other sides of this plastic. Okay, so I opened the garage door and I moved the tank a little bit outside. So let's get this thing uh, plasti dipped. Not really good at painting, as you can see. So this is gonna look pretty bad, but I'm not gonna be staring at this side of the tank. So I don't care. Also, even though I've got the door open, I can still smell some of these volatile fumes and I'm starting to hallucinate. I'm starting to see purple and fluorescent green pufferfish dancing around my head. Now when this starts to happen to you, you need to stop what you're doing and get the fresh air as soon as possible. 
It's gonna be a little thin in some spots. I really don't give a poop. All right, so we're just about done painting it, or rather, uh, plasti dipping it. We're gonna wait for it to dry. It says here it, it allow uh, to allow four hours for coat for complete dry. So we're gonna wait a little bit, and then uh, this thing will be ready to go. We'll take off the masking material at that point, and then we'll uh, we'll see how she looks. Hey guys. <laughs> So, uh, I'm almost done. It's about 3 a.m. I'm walking down the street here. I'm heading to... <laughs> uh, I'm heading to Home Depot because I ran out of Rust-Oleum. Uh, I've used 17 cans. Just need a few more. Uh, make sure you paint in a well-ventilated area. <laughs>